Hi, so as some of you all know, this year I've been exploring the genre of knockoff movies. Anytime there's a popular flick like Jungle Cruise, there's always someone waiting in the wings to make a worse copycat version for dollar stores and ad-supported streaming services around the world. Movies like Cars and Finding Nemo have been ripped off countless times, but one that's remained untouched is Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. That is, until now. <laughs> After nearly three decades, Wow Now Entertainment has decided that now's the time to ruin the legacy of my favorite Halloween movie. They're known for making low-budget knockoffs of animated classics like Finding Jesus, Kung Fu Bunny, The Lion Kid, Haunted Transylvania, many of which I've reviewed over on my TikTok. But today, we're here to talk about Witchmas, which is my favorite one so far. You can purchase the DVD on Amazon for $13.99, which is nearly double the price of the real Nightmare Before Christmas. But thank goodness I just streamed it for free on Tubi. Miss Selma! Miss Selma! Uh, how many times must I tell you, Waffle? It's Miss Selma. Miss! What's the difference? Miss is so white and fluffy, I feel like it's addressing some inane twit with a yellow apron and a fresh flower in her hair. Ew, that's repulsive. So instead of Jack Skellington, the leader of Halloween Land is this witch, Ms. Selma. She's definitely not stop motion animated and she's barely computer animated. Her lip movements don't even remotely line up with her speaking, and her assistant, Waffle, looks like a knockoff Mike Wazowski. Oh, Waffle, I'm bored by it all. Utterly uninterested in the same old annual routine of frightening people in the real world. Ugh. It's almost like you're copying Jack Skellington, who became bored with the same annual routine of frightening people in the real world. By the way, that's literally the description of The Nightmare Before Christmas on Amazon. Ugh, I've become disenchanted. Ugh. Complacent! Complacent with Halloween? How can it be? If you haven't already noticed, every scene so far has just been the same repeated animation with different dialogue and even worse voice acting. Halloween no longer interests me, so save your breath, Waffle. I can't believe this. This is a bona fide disaster. Oh, I could kick myself. What sort of demon am I anyway? Well, they forgot to list Waffle in the credits of the movie, but it's safe to assume the demon who played him is KJ Schrock, who in the past has played the racist Mr. Sushi in Finding Jesus. Hey, Mr. Sushi. What are you two, a reed or a fish, doing so far from your reef? Which is not surprising, considering his publicly available bio says, have portrayed characters from a flying pig to an African slave. But let's meet some other characters in this movie. Christmas season's about to start any day. Christmas? But surely you're mistaken, little one. It isn't even Halloween yet. Christmas preparation takes longer than you'd think. It's the world's biggest, brightest, best holiday. And we've got to make sure every year comes off without a hitch. Preach! <laughs> Preach! So this elf and this leprechaun go through the Halloween door and somehow end up accidentally pitching Miss Selma the plot of the Disney movie. Christmas, you speak of? Uh, why, that sounds like a lot of fun. Christmas is the most amazing holiday in the whole wide world. Better than Halloween? Oh, much better than Halloween. Santa's been at it a long time. I bet he could use a break. Santa? A break? Yes! He should let somebody else play Santa for a while. <laughs> There's also these horrifying mushrooms. Good thing you and I are immune to Halloween land's dark magic. <laughs> as natural born forest fungi, we can come and go as we please. <sighs> yeah. We can sprout anywhere that's moist enough. Why they're in this movie, we may never know. They literally never show up again, but back to the plot. No trespassers who cross Halloween land's borders can avoid being routed straight to my haunted castle. <laughs> I love how it's just a straight up Disney castle and not haunted looking in any way. Whilst I prepare to seize the reins of Christmas from that jolly red fool <laughs> by recruiting some of our old Halloween land friends. <laughs> Aiming high, eh? Or low, 
depending on how you look at it. What does that even mean? How nice would it be if we turned this Christmas into... <laughs> Witchness! <laughs> <laughs> Selma Claus! It's devilishly delightful! <laughs> <laughs> this is very worrisome, Rudy! So Santa realizes that one of his elves has gone missing and commissions the Elf Detective Agency to go and find him. And when they arrive in Halloween Land, they meet that same tree we saw earlier who drops a bombshell revelation. Allow me to introduce myself, little ones. I'm Woodindra the Sorceress. So, so, so you're, you're a good witch? Well, I didn't say that. And my sister's the witch Selma. As I said, I'm a sorceress. There's a distinction. How is she Miss Selma's sister? I need a family tree here. <laughs> Actually, no pun intended. We're looking for our lost brother. Cheer! Have you seen him, Woodindra? No. Oh. oh. But my sister has. If you couldn't tell by that weird echo on Woodindra's voice, shockingly, she's evil and banishes those elves to a remote part of Halloween land. But in movies, there's an unwritten rule where you're supposed to show, not tell. Like in the movie Up, the opening montage tells a beautiful story without a single word spoken aloud. But in this movie, they'll show you a scene with absolutely atrocious dialogue, and then 10 seconds later, another character will retell that story of what we already just saw, then tell it again, and again, and won't stop telling you until it drives you absolutely insane. Woodindra, what brings your glorious mirror image to me, my sister? News, Selma, terrible news. Oh, my favorite car! I just encountered a trio of curious trespassers. Elves in search of their stray brother. <gasps> you don't say. <laughs> I think she does say. Good evening, Count Dracula. May I have a quick word with you? Selma! Certainly, my witch. What brings you to my midnight acres? So at this point, you're probably wondering when Miss Selma is going to take over Christmas, and me too. But first, she has to recruit some poorly animated Halloween Land residents to help out with her vaguely evil plan. Mm, I've got something big brewing. <laughs> and then I need the help of a fiend of your considerable caliber. I'm going to turn Christmas into an amazing new holiday. Oh no, don't tell it again. One with spooks and frights. <laughs> Ghosts, uh, ghouls. A holiday I will call Witchmas. <laughs> 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 I feel like half of this movie is just evil laughing. Gather round, guys. I have an offer you can't refuse. Oh, are you talking to me or him? Thelma the Witch is making a move on Christmas. So on Team Witchmas, we have Selma, this annoying dragon, a larger leprechaun, pumpkin head, tall mummy, generic monster, Dracula, candy cane, evil elf, freaky bug, and the obligatory skeleton. Then once everyone's recruited, the movie goes from so bad it's hilarious to excruciatingly boring for the next 20 minutes. We go from planning witchmas to legal jargon. I signed an exclusive contract with the North Pole to only represent Christmas. And then out of nowhere, Selma just cancels her witchmas plans. You insolent fool. Did you really think you could just waltz in here to have a look around? and not pay for it? <clears throat> no. Uh, I want to wish you all a safe trip home. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and Merry Christmas. What in tarnation was that about? I kept waiting for the plot twist, like, Ooh, gotcha. I'm taking Christmas now, and it's 
Lich Mask! Woo! It's almost as if the creative team behind this movie, if you can even call them that, got to the part we've all been waiting for and then just decided, nah, we don't need to show Witch Mist. We'll just tell the audience what it would have been like. I mean, you know the unwritten rule of movies, tell, don't show. However, it does seem like someone in the writer's room suggested that there should be an ending to the movie. We were set to take over the North Pole <laughs> and turn Christmas into Witch Mist. Best idea I've heard in Ions. I'm not through with Santa and his minions. Not by a long shot. And with a promise of defeating Santa, the movie just ends. There's no planned sequels, and I've got to say, I'm not very satisfied. For a while there, I was concerned that I'm starting to like bad movies more than good movies, but Witchmas was just so disappointing that I will never watch one again. No, I'm kidding. I'll watch these as long as you all keep watching me watch them. So be sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye!